Hey guys, we're back with another video, and this time, it's an interesting one. It's gonna just be a simple one match, Phantom Knights versus Crusade OTK. It's gonna be in the Master Roll 5. And so, I mean, yeah, simple match, one. B3 um, won the r dice roll, whatever. And B and he decided to go second because it's Crusade OTK. Why not? And now let's just get into the match. B one summons cloak. Gonna activate Rota. Gonna add boots. Pretty simple. Then by the way, I am saying boots and cloak. It that's just their like their nickname because their first part is just Phantom Knights. So it's Phantom Knights something cloak and phantom match something boots so i'm just gonna call him by their nickname boots and cloak he's gonna exist summon dante probably gonna activate the effect if you don't know what it does just sends top three cards of your deck to the grave and then he gains 500 for each then he's going to Banish Boots, the card that he discard detached from Dante, to add Fog Blade. Probably the best card. Yeah, he's gonna add that. For a second, he's gonna do Sword. He's gonna do Fog Blade, and then he's gonna banish Cloak to add Lost of Embrace. And I mean, pretty simple, banishing, add, adding a few cards. Then he's going to set. If, as you can see in his hand, he has four traps. Probably going to set them. And pass. Yep, that was correct. He's going to shuffle because B3 knows what... Um, knows that B1 knows what he added. So, smart, smart, smart gonna pass and cruise b3 goes draws gonna go for this simple but good and consistent combo gonna normal maximus which is really good gonna lick it off into magius i'm gonna say this as it goes just in case the people that don't know what Crusade does um know what it does gonna link into magius gonna special Nefarious Archfiend, Neater of Nefariousness. Um, then he activates Fog Blade on Magius. Red Reboot pays half his life points, negates it, he allows him to set, um, sets the trap that he had just activated. Then he gets to set another, but no more traps. That shuts Phantom Knights down entirely. I mean, if you saw, he set only traps. He's just going to set another one. I mean, it's really, 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 really scary for him. If Crusade does what it normally does in OTKs, it's going to be really bad for Phantom Knights. Then he's going to continue with this combo. Going to add Re Leonis because he, yeah, he's going to add Leonis because he has a monster in defense. So when he goes into Equimax, he can just... Um, deal that uh, piercing battle damage. And then, next he's going to link into Regulex. Then, he's going to special... I mean, depends on his hand, he could decide. He has Draco, if you saw. He has Draco in his hand, so he can just special summon it. Which is really good. So then he can just chain link. Regulex gives him an add for spell, and then Draco allows him to add a monster, which you saw it was max, add a monster from Grave. And then he added Revival from Regulex. Wait, was that Revival? No, no, it was Testament. Sorry. Then I'm. 
I mean, it's really all up to him this time around. He's going to link into Aqua. That's what hap would happen in the next bit of the combo. Going to link into Equimax, probably. Yeah, probably. Oh, I forgot to mention this. When you activate Red Reboot, I said that you get pay half your life points, so B3 has 4,000. Yeah, he's going to link into Equimax. Pretty simple. And then we know he added back his Maximus from the beginning. So he's that. And we know he added back Leonis. So he's probably going to special summon those and see how much damage he can give. And I'm thinking... It, I'm. I'm no mathematician, but I'm hoping it's enough. So then this, so then Crusade can just say it's a win. And, well, I mean, I'm obviously going to have the damage, so I don't really need to. But he's going to attack, I and mean, he's going to target. That's what you, the, you have to do, the targeting to a Crusadia. So he's going to target Echo Max. Now he can deal double, so whatever damage he deals, it's double. And Leonis can have him deal piercing, and because he had a monster in defense. So, B1 survives with 3,500 life points. And then, Crusade, and then B3 activates Revival. Testament, sorry, sorry, I'm just getting this mixed up. He activates Testament, and then he gets to draw three card. He gets to draw cards equal to the number of link ratings to the monster he just dealt damage to his opponent. So Echo Max allows him to draw three cards, which is really good. Um, and then B1 would just wants to verify just to make sure. And then he passed. B1 drew. He activated Fogblade on Equimax, so then there's no disruptions because he does have a negate by tributing a Crusadia. Then let's see. I mean, he has a wide variety of things that he can do because he has some Phantom Knights in his grave. He has a ton of set cards. He has. He's gonna banish Cloak. Okay, gonna add Boots. That's the cool thing about Cloak is that it can add any of the Phantom Knights card from deck to hand so it can be a trap it can be a, even the rank up it can be a monster i mean it's just really 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 good he's gonna add boots then he's gonna special summit it. he's gonna i'm just he's gonna look at his traps he's gonna normal summon cloak then he's gonna special summon Boots, going to activate. He's gonna activate Lost Van Brace. If you don't know what it does, then Boots. It it changes one of your Phantom Knights levels. I think it's just a two. Don't know the card exactly, but he's gonna change the he's gonna change a Boots level to two, and then he special summons him, then Lost Van Brace special summons itself. As a level 2 monster, basically. As a Phantom Knights level 2. That's really all you need to know. So that and it really just allows you to go into the rank 2. Because that's basically the only way you can. By special summoning the traps. So this is what he's going to do. Xe summon. I think I already mentioned this. It's in Master Roll 5. But if I didn't, there. So then, here's that. And then, oh, I forgot to say for Fogblade. If you don't know, it does. It negates effect, but also you can't attack it, and it cannot attack. Okay, he's going to activate um, RD, and then he's going to special summon Cloak from the Banish Zone, which is really good, so then he can just get out his own Xyz material. DDR, not RD, DDR, sorry. And he's got some really cool stuff. If you don't know what the Rank 2 does, he can negate a monster's effect and change it to and make his attack zero um for the rest of the turn and the cool part is if he has a phantom knight in his um existing material then he then it's a quick effect so he's really good then break sword's gonna probably i think he'd forbidden chalice yeah he's gonna forbidden chalice the rank two 
and then he's going to detach material for a break sword, and then he's going to pop, I think, Equimax? No, he's going to do Leonis, so then he can't deal any piercing for that. I mean, I guess so. That's a decent decision. Then he's going to pop himself, and this is where the cool stuff... Break Sword can special summon two Phantom Knights if it's destroyed by a card effect, even its own, and then le make their level one higher. So, he he's basically just a rank up on his own, because he can rank up to a level four, which is really good. And then he's probably going to go for a Dark Rebellion. I mean, maybe not in the best case in control -y vibe, but he's definitely going to be doing some sort of attacking. Sorry about this. I, that was probably a little too fast. Um, basically what happened is Dark Rebellion Exe, uh, Exe's dragon attacked Maximus, and then he, then B1 ended his turn, then B3, on his turn, he linked the Equimax into Maximus, then he special summoned Ren Ryu, Ren Riku. I don't know that guy's name on top, uh, on the top of my head, but, yeah. And basically gonna go full combo again. Let's see if... B ones has anything to say about it with all his traps that he has. Well, wow. he's gonna link into Regulex. Okay, pretty normal. Going to link with his Draco. I mean, he's gonna special summon his Draco to Regulex to the zone. And then, hmm, I mean, it's really all up to him in this situation. He can link with certain monsters, all that, but it is, they're having a little dispute on whether B1 should activate his effect because the trap is considered a, the Phantom Knight, so it is a quick effect. That's why, um... His, uh, his effect is actually really good. And then he did Fog Blade. I think it was the Regulex. And I forgot to mention that. Sorry. I didn't see it. So he's going to Fog Blade that. He's going to summon Cerberus. And this is where the Crusadius stuff comes in. Cerberus. He's going to try to pop probably the rank 2. Then, the, then he's going to activate Wings. And because of the cost of Cerberus, he had to detach it and he had to discard Effect Veiler. And then Wings di stop the destruction of the rank 2. He's going to special summon Maximus. This is where the interesting stuff comes in. He's going to special summon it. And then he linked the Cerberus and... What was it? Ew. And, sorry, linked the Cerberus and the Regulex. And, I mean, this is where the cool stuff comes in. He's gonna... Wow, man. What happened is... The rank 2 detached and exceeds material negated um, Equimax's effect and made his attack go to zero. So when Equimax attacked, he just got dealt... 16 points of damage, which is really... Which is really good on the Phantom Knights players. And he's gonna activate... DDR again, gonna special boots, gonna spe then he's gonna activate fog blade from his grave, banish it, special summon. What was it called? Cloak, and then he's gonna Z summon to summon. Not Levier, he's gonna summon Breaksword, and then Breaksword probably gonna act, yeah. Probably going to activate effect, definitely. Then he's going to special summon those guys. Xyz summon. Going to summon out Time Thief or Doer. And then going to attack for game. 